Hey, this is Boris. I'm developing two open source graphics tools called VGC Illustration and VGC Animation. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Okay, a lot of progress this month. I think it was a really good idea to only make one video per month. I think it really helped me to stay focused on what's really important, programming. Here is how VGC Illustration looks now. There's a menu on top and there's a toolbar on the left. In the menu, we can toggle visibility of the Python console and quit the application. So nothing exciting for now, but at least the menu is there and I'll be able to add new features soon, such as undo. Okay, in the toolbar, there's a very important new feature, a color selector. So it's now possible to sketch in color in VGC Illustration, not just in black and white. So just to recap, we can now draw curves with variable thickness. We can draw them with the color we want. We can pan, zoom, and rotate the view. And the curves look smooth at any zoom level. I've spent some time making sure that the UI looks great using a dark color scheme, which I think is better than the light scheme I was using in vPaint. But because different users might have different tastes, unlike in vPaint, I'm now using a style sheet technology, which makes it possible for users themselves to customize the UI look and feel if they want to. So if you like your buttons to be green, no problem. And finally, since the last video report, I made some improvements to the Python console. There is now what is called an interpreter prompt. It is these symbols on the left that tell you which lines of code were executed all at once. I'm now also using a monospace font, which is more suitable for programming. And I've added the possibility to create curves programmatically with the console. With all that in place, I was able to create some procedural art within VGC. If you're interested, all the Python code for these images was made available to sponsors on TP and Patreon, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so now that VGC is somewhat functional, I'm trying to create one drawing per day with it, and I post all of these on the VGC YouTube channel, which I encourage you to subscribe to. Even though I'm not really good at drawing myself, I hope that using VGC daily helps me to detect potential bugs. And actually, you can see that there are those weird shapes at the end of some strokes. This is some problem I have from the pressure input of my Wacom tablet, and I hope to fix that soon. That's it for this month. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Hey, just one more thing. If you like this project, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my TP or Patreon page whose links are in the description of this video. As a sponsor, you'd get early access to video reports such as this one, you'd get exclusive access to more content, but more importantly, this is how you can pre-order license keys for VGC Illustration and VGC Animation. Since I'm working full-time on this project now, this is my only source of revenue. So as you can imagine, this is very important for me. Anyway, thanks for watching again, share if you like, and see you soon.